Hi, my name is Tobias Siegel and today I'm going to both show and explain how far infrared functions. In this demonstration it will visually manifest the frequency of the electromagnetic spectrum. This black plate has a special ceramic coating which emits far infrared rays. This plate is emitting far infrared right now. However, neither you nor I can see it. This is because far infrared is invisible to the human eye. So without the benefit of being able to see the plate radiate far infrared, the only way to be sure the far infrared energy exists is to see how it affects another object. For the benefit of this demonstration, I will be using ice as that object. Now take a good look at this plate. You can see it has no electrical wires connected to it. There is no area for which batteries can be inserted either. It's just a plate. This is a thermometer. One simply points at an object, presses the button, and instantaneously the temperature registers in the little window. First, I am going to take the temperature of the black far infrared plate. It is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to take the temperature of the red plate. It is 77.1 degrees Fahrenheit. And now I will take the temperature of the ice in the bowl. It is 29.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that we know the temperature of each participant, we can now begin the demonstration. What I am now going to do is place a cube of ice on each plate at the same time. Now, as we watch the experiment, you will see a difference between the ice on each plate. You can see the ice on the black plate is already starting to move. The red plate's ice is just sitting there, but the ice on the far infrared plate is moving all around, as you can see, melting. In reality, the far infrared isn't melting the ice through heat. It is separating the ice molecules by vibrating them apart. Within a few minutes, this far infrared plate will accomplish what the red plate at room temperature will take at least 15 minutes to do. Another way one can tell the ice is melting through vibration and not heat is the extreme motion the ice cube is making on the plate. Ice that melts through heat just stays in the same place as it turns into a puddle. It doesn't move around as if a force were pushing it. So what does this effect of the far infrared vibrations do to the body? First of all, far infrared penetrates deeper within the body's tissue than any other heat source can. In essence, far infrared can affect cells it doesn't touch. It accomplishes this through the vibration of the cells it does touch. These cells transfer the far infrared energy they are receiving to cells they are in contact with, but the main far infrared source cannot reach. It should be noted that the reason far infrared moves throughout the body is because the body itself emits far infrared rays. So some amount of far infrared is always moving within the body, just as it does in nature. So each of us is like a mini sun in our ability to emit and absorb far infrared rays. The benefit the body gains through the vibration of far infrared is multifold. First, it helps to separate toxins from the cells which help detoxify the body. Another effect is the fact that far infrared helps stimulate the lymphatic system which improves the entire immune system. The lymphatic system, unlike the circulatory system, has no pumps pushing its fluid through the body. This system relies on the body's own motion to push the lymph fluid through the body. Far infrared through vibration aids the movement of the lymph fluid. The lymphatic system ties into the body's circulatory system at the neck where the lymph fluid is drained into the blood system. Because of this biological tie, the blood system is also affected by far infrared vibrations. The human body will absorb only the amount of far infrared rays it can put to use at the time. So there is no danger of getting too much of a good thing. Even though the far infrared effect on ice happens quickly, it still takes about five minutes to accomplish a meltdown. 
Well, you can see the far infrared plate has totally liquefied the ice. The other plate's ice has hardly begun to melt. I will now absorb the water from the far infrared plate with this towel. Good, all dry. Now let's take another temperature reading of the far infrared plate. The temperature is 62.3 degrees Fahrenheit, over a 15 degree drop in temperature. You can see by the difference in temperatures, the ice actually cooled the plate rather than the plate having heated the ice.